Mark, it's it's good to have you on a day like it's today. A, it's a pleasure I'm, to be here. <laughs> um, I do want to start uh, with more of a global lens and specifically mm -hmm. looking at yeah. the UK, which you have some deep experience mm -hmm. with, uh, and also Europe, and sort of get your sense on the fiscal stimulus package we're seeing coming out of the UK that really sent gyrations yeah. through the global markets, uh, the moves we're seeing there, and the possibility that we're already in recession when we do look to that continent. Yeah, I, I think you've got to remember you've got a, a new prime minister, a new chancellor, and this this is you know weeks after they come into power that they then go beyond what was expected of them, and that's that's caused the shock in the market. That's surprised the market, and you've had that reaction. Um, but you're clear here. You, you've talked about some of the issues. You know, are we heading for a recession? Should governments be pushing for growth more? Um, or should they be focused on <coughs> inflation? Uh, and here, I think we're going to see you know, the government clearly trying to promote growth. And now we're looking at the Bank of England to say, are you serious about inflation? You know, uh, because so far, the bank has been, um, I think Tim is the wrong word. That's too strong a word. But the, the bank hasn't um, been as strong as the Fed. Uh, and I think the market is now looking for the Bank of England to step up. Uh, and have you know, a much stronger uh, approach to uh, increases in rates and a much stronger uh, approach to try to tackle inflation. And of course, just this morning, we're hearing about calls from some po politicians in the UK mm -hmm. to step in where currency moves are concerned mm -hmm. uh, as well, or to step in where this entire conversation is concerned as well. Um, it's pretty incredible because here in the US, the narrative has been that the Fed has been behind the ball. Now the Fed's tightening aggressively. Yeah. Yeah. And we have other central banks tightening behind the Fed and catching up aggressively as well. And you talked, I mean, look, the strengthening of the dollar, and that's continuing. And whilst the Fed remains ahead of the rest of the world, you know, that will continue. Uh, and the pound, yes, it's fallen with this decision, but it was falling before. I mean, we've got to remember, it was only a couple of months ago that the pound was at 130, and before that, 140 to the dollar. And now, now we're seeing it down to in the Asian markets under 104 uh, and really only coming back a little bit because the market is expecting the Bank of England to do something. And if the bank doesn't step in, I think we will see parity to the dollar. Yeah, that was the, uh, I mean, that's partly why I guess it, it arguably bottomed this morning was right. these reports that they would at least get a statement today yes. and, they, and it didn't sound like the bank denied that that might be coming today. That's right. What do you think they would say? I think they'll try and talk the market up a little bit to start with, but I think their next um, uh, committee uh, is in November. They can't wait until November to take action. So I, I think the market is looking for strong words and going beyond that to see them start to take action before that November meeting.